Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem five in chapter sixteen. Chapter sixteen is about the sound. In this question, we talk about a motion sensor. As there, we can see, uh, the first question ask uh, tell us the smallest time period T is one ms, and the temperature is given. Ask you to find the uh distance uh can be measured. So we can see. It is asked us to find the smallest distance. So this distance is from one sound wave to another sound wave. Do you agree? Right? This is the smallest distance this sensor can measure. And then we look at this time, the sound wave travels at the velocity is given 343 meters per second. How can we get, know that? Because it tells us the temperature 20 seconds. The next one, the time taken is also given because it tell us you can see the time period is one sec one ms. So one ms is from there then back, right? This is the distance uh on the time period. So divided by two is the time taken from the one sound wave to another sound wave. In this case, we can find the smallest distance is use v times t at there. The next one uh, tell us in this case, uh, the time changes. It becomes 15 distance measurement every second. So 15 measurement every second. So that means for one this period, so one of for one distance. It's just a 1 over 15 seconds because 15 distance is 1 second. So for 1 distance, is used the total time 1 second over 15. It is a time taking for 1 distance, right? So for 1 distance, it moves from there and then back. So divided by 2, we get the time for 1 distance, the time travels. The time for 1 distance travels, just this one. Still, the Wave speed is 343 3 meter per second. In this case, we can find the D equal to V times T. Input is the V and T inside with the answer there. The next one to us the room the room temperature changes. Right? Ask us to find the percent error for this uh, sensor. So in this case, we can find the room temperature is just in function with the velocity V. Right, the wave speed in this case and at the 20, 20 degree this one we know the v1 is this one this is a, a common sense and the v2 we input 23 inside we get the v2 and then so we look at the distance it traveled use the velocity times the t this is d1 this is in progress this is after d D2, right? Then we find the percent error. It's just D2 minus D1 over D1. And you can see T and T are same. So it becomes V2 minus V1 over V1. And then we input all the known quantities. It answers there.